Hello and welcome back. Now, this is a very exciting episode since we're getting to engineers. I'm pretty sure of that. So we have fulfilled everything here now. As we can see, also the happiness is quite high. So only those two service buildings, the university and the theater are missing. So let's just have a look. Um, I paved, street, uh, I paved the streets now here. So everything here is paved. That is important up there up to that point here because this is more the poor district and it's going to stay the poor district for quite a while um this is here the most important one over here also so i've paved them here a bit and of course the factories here uh paved streets now as well um, i think we have some coffee here now already as well yeah some coffee not much but it's starting to climb so what we want to do now is build the university and i was thinking about where i should uh, build it so I think this is a good spot. I mean, some of you might cry out now. No, this is not a good spot. It's way too central because, of course, it would be more sufficient to have one here and one over here. So I could have both sides. But um, I never, I'm never, i never going to have so many universities here because I'm never going to have so many engineers and investors. Like, the outer edges of my town are still going to be workers and artisans for the most part. So I'm um, having a university here. Look at that. With the paved streets it fulfills everything here so this whole area here would be fulfilled with the university except this area here but this can stay artisans uh, if it's up to me you know so this one here look it up this one here is full of university and then as well so those are the areas that i want to get to investors anyway and then we could have one here that would be this area here if i get that far um uh, at this point i tend to and having one here or here would um, give this area here a university. So building one here makes perfectly sense. You know, it's perfectly fine to do that. So we're doing that here. Plus, I think it's a beautiful spot for university. Besides those landmarks there. So this would be the university here. Not too many changes, I hope. And we would build it like... Yeah, like so. And then we could have some, I don't know, some statues of smart people here like that and like that and then we could have some work ben uh, some benches here and perhaps gee I don't know two trees popping up here so that might just be working um, let's consumption that's perfectly fine here so we can do that Let's build the university. Isn't that a beautiful building? And look at how nicely it fits into that landscape here. I think this is just perfect for it. Especially if we go now to the first person mode. So we have now the main street here. And then this beautiful university here. Oh, can I jump over that here? No, I can't. And then I would go over here, look at that. And just here, the students can then sit and just study or whatever, enjoying the day. Oh my goodness, I love this town. Having some beautiful statues here. Just absolutely amazing. Very nice. So that is the university. It's in here now, so at this point I can upgrade. But of course, we still want to have the variety theater. And I'm going to place one here into this area here since this is a very inefficient layout of houses anyway and it would fit in like that so let's have a look at the influence here real quick and it would fit the whole area here you know so having it here I would have to need a second one here then at some point but that's fine for now it also has a huge area of influence so we're just building it like yeah like that very nice that's a, a variety theater look at the taxes that go up now that I build it and right what we also want to have here is of course a stature of some sort again right let's have the smaller stature then since I wait a second is there something else nope there isn't Okay, let's have that. One here, one here. And then probably... No, that wouldn't fit. Yeah, simple as that. And I just love the look of this building. 
Very detailed, if we go back here now. Very detailed building, I like that. I mean, the people are a bit, a bit too big. He will not fit in through that door. Other than that, I think it looks amazing. I just love that architecture. Beautiful. Just like that. And look at that view that we have from here. I mean, oh my goodness. That is probably the most beautiful town that I've built so far. I especially love those broad streets that we have here. So much space in the middle of the town. And look at that mountain over there. So far away. And we can still see it. Amazing. There we have the university. I could walk around here endlessly. And I'm probably going to. If you're interested in, a, in an episode where I just walk around, let me just uh, let me just know in the comments. And I'm just going to have an episode of pure walking around in my town with the ambient music in the background. Okay, so that's that. We have done everything here we, we can. Um, one thing I want to do is having a few more workers, so we can do that here. I'm going to upgrade a lot of people here now. Loop, just like that. I always lo love it when I upgrade so many houses there. Over there, and here we're going to have the first engineers now. Let's see how many we can actually upgrade. That would be a good spot here now. And that's it. The first engineers, new city stages, capital. And we got those buildings there. I mean, it's those are the richer buildings, but I don't like them that much. You know, I like those artisan buildings much more. They have a certain warmth to it that I like. Age of science and wonder. We have unlocked electricity and the train. But yeah, they are, of course they look nice too. And the first engineers move in. Let's see what we have here now. Most importantly, we have now the commute pier. So that is something that I, I want to have. But first of all, we need the concrete for that. And of course the concrete needs steel. We do have enough steel at the moment, so all we need is the limestone quarry. Something we don't have here at Sleepy Hollow. So we don't have any limestone. We do have limestone in Tarek though. And we do have two iron deposits here in Tarek as well. So I'm thinking about having Tarek for my steel production and limestone production only besides the fur. You know, because those factories I can cram them in here and use the rest of the forests here for the hunting. So that might... and it's also very close. So Tarek is going to be a big role in all of that. Before we do that, however, let's have a look if I can buy limestone somewhere. Reinforced steel, I mean. I mean, this is uh, cement that would work already. But it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like we can buy reinforced steel anywhere. Perhaps Mercier has that. But nope. He has dynamite, dynamite, a lot of that. So, I'm not sure if I should like that. He sells windows, that would be nice. Um, and the Admiral still doesn't want to talk to us. Okay, so, nope. How should I go about, on about this one now? That's going to be a bit complicated. They need workers, those limestone quarries, okay? So far, so good. So I could get the cement to Sleepy Hollow. And have the, re the concrete factories here. They don't reduce the attractiveness of my town. That's always good to know. So I can have them here if I want that. You know, So that's going to be electrified as well. Having them here might just work. Yeah. So let's get some cement. Because I need con reinforced concrete. I need 40. I need 80 tons I think for now. No. 60 tons. 60 tons of reinforced concrete for the commute pier so that I can have one here and one in Tarek where I'm going to have the first second commute pier if that makes sense. So the first commute pier outside of Sleepy Hollow. Because I'm going to move my steel industry here and my cement factories so that I can increase my attractiveness here again. Alrighty. So I can purchase, I can purchase the cement. Yeah, here at Eli Bleakworth. Here I can do that. So let's purchase the first cement there. 
I do have steel, so let's just build the first concrete factories right away. The only question is where. I mean, yeah, this would make sense here. Though I don't want to clog it up too much here because of... Um, I have only a limited amount here, so I could probably get a rid of those buildings here. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, also of those here. And then I just moved those sewing machine factories here. Okay. And then I have some more space here again. This is all going to be electrified, so it doesn't make much sense if I have um, some buildings here that I'm not going to use it. And yeah, I just removed the pup here, so I'm pretty sure I need another pup here. Somewhere else, so let's just have a look. Let's demolish this one here. And have a pup at the mountain right away. The mountain pup. Just over there. And the workers can go there for a drink if they like to. That's going to work very nice. So now we can have the concrete factory here. Just for now. I mean, of course, a sewing machine factory, so we'll need more of them later. Two of them for now. No, that's... Yeah, let's have it like 20%. So they got the steel now, and I'm going to buy the cement. And it's... Yeah, well... Oh, that is quite expensive, though. Let's keep it at 100 for now. I do have quite a lot of coffee here, so let's upgrade a few more engineers so they want coffee at some point then. Oh, that's a lot of new engineers there. And now they want coffee and it's already being satisfied. So that it's worth it, you know, producing all that coffee. Okay. Right, electricity would be possible now, but I don't need it yet. I want to focus on the commute pier first, and for that we're transporting the concrete now over here, the cement. And let's see... Those sewing machines, how much space do they need? Can I... Yeah, I can build two more here, so that's fine. Let's have one more re uh, concrete factory here then. Just for now. You know, once I have enough reinforced concrete and I don't need that much anymore, I can just move those factories somewhere else. But for now, I want to have it like that. And now I just wait for the cement to arrive. There it is. 100 of that. And that will produce me 50 tons only. Damn it. So I need to have another round here. But, you know, I, I really don't want to expand my town here anymore. And I would have to do that. If I want to move my factories over here and my reinforced um, concrete uh, production. Because it needs um, those engineers. Uh, this one here only needs workers, so that would be fine. The limestone quarry, I need two of them. So let's move a lot of steel beams and windows over there to Tarek. Steel beams. And windows, 100 tons. Going to need them. That's that. What else do we have here? We still have enough timber. Yeah, bricks is piling up now too, so we can build... Another concrete factory. And they're all producing now. It's good to see. And let's upgrade those farmhouses here to workers. Very nice. 
Isn't that looking good? Oh yeah, it's itching in my fingers to finally place those railways here along those streets. But not yet, not yet. Good and ready. The Majesty's finest. Okay, that's that. Um, let's have a look. Do we lose something already here? No, no products are going down yet. So everything's looking stable so far. That's pretty good. And enteric, yeah. And enteric, I'm going to have my iron mine. And yeah, perfect. We do have the coal deposits here as well. I didn't even look at that. So the coal mine is here, which needs workers again. But then we could have that here. Very nice. And this is going to be my steel island here. I'm still going to have the iron mines here in Sleepy Hollow, of course, because I need the iron ore for um, the canned food. But the steel production itself is going to be on Tarek. So I'm going to have four furnaces here, I think, then for the two iron mines. Yeah, so four furnaces producing the steel that we need for, well, <laughs> almost everything actually on Sleepy Hollow then. Again, you need steel for quite a lot of things. Very nice, and reinforced concrete is coming in now. So we just need to wait until we have 60 of that. And in the meantime, my ship with steel beams and windows is arriving in Tarek. That's nice. Hi. Let's unload it. Oh, I can't even unload that much. So we need a depot here. Or we need to upgrade the trading post. That should work. Very nice. Okay, so we do have some nice resources here already. Let me just have a look real quick. Do we have... Yeah, we do have the timber here. How thrilling. A renowned personage oh, and we also have a visitor now. Get some rest. It's going to be a peddler for now. Of course, I want him to join my city. So let's see what he does. Peddler equipped in town hall. Affects the marketplace's range. Uh, it's not really good. Why are, they, why are they so unhappy here? I think they like a pub. Right. So I'm going to place a pub here. That should make them a bit more happy. Well, pal, yeah, let's have the escort quest there. I do have my ships there. Let's get four frigates to that one there. And off they go. And let's also have a look at the expeditions there because quite a few are active now. Nothing special though. Three skulls is still too hard. Two skulls. Crafting, hunting, diplomacy. Let's get Hippotamus. That's good for diplomacy there, but not equipped on ships. Now, as you can see, we can't even do much here with the items. Naval power, we don't need that. So we would need all of those four in this area here. So we have the... Oh my. No, that is not good. The beer is a ration there and for diplomacy as well. Then we would have the sewing machines for crafting. And the fur coats for hunting. Yeah, this could actually work. 75%. 80% morale. Let's do that. Let's have this rescue mission there. That's a two-star rescue mission. Let's try it out. And, yep, we can also start the escort quest here now. With those four frigates, it should be easy. Just say the word. 
Okay, and perhaps we can sell something. I want to get a bit more money out, uh, out there. There's some fighting already. Oh, yeah. He's got some better items now. Look at that. Since we have the engineers, many more epic items. Perhaps Madame Kahina has better items too. Not yet. Let's reroll one time. Yeah, more animals now and more relics, but still everything is common, so I don't care about that. Ah, yes, the bright young sapling. Nothing else here, though. Ah, come on. My flattery should work more often. Very nice. 70,000. Nope, I'm not doing that. Let's give him some money and her some money there. It's rather cheap. We'll top up the old sea chest. Okay, so far so good. No problem here. And we get... We have 20 reinforced concrete almost now. Very nice. And over here in Tarik, we can start with the limestone quarry. So we can get that over to Sleepy Hollow, the cement. So we have one here. What? We need eight tons of timber, but don't we have like sawmills working on that? Oh, someone's taking timber here. Yep, this one, Constance. That ship is taking timber from Tarek. Of course, that it's not, not allowed for the moment. Let's unload it again. And now we can have the limestone quarry there. And where's the second one? There it is. So let's have a small warehouse here. And the second one here. Can I increase the productivity a bit? Nope, I cannot do that. That's just too much. Doesn't matter. And now here, Constance, you like timber, right? So you will also like cement. She's also going to load cement now. 50 should be enough and the schooner should be enough for that. So she's unloading both of those things now, loading enteric and delivering it to Sleepy Hollow. So we have enough cement now for our reinforced concrete production. Of course, we're going to need a lot of that soon. It's like a prison here. Oh, this is going to be so huge once the electricity is in this area here. This one would be very nice actually as well. You know, just imagine having a power plant here somewhere and all of that would be uh, boosted by 100%. My steel production would explode, but again, I can't have that. All those furnaces, they just reduce the attractiveness too much. We can't have that. Yeah, let's accept him again. That seems like a good item there. And let's have a second police station over here because that riot seems a bit more serious. And this item I can use now on a trade union where I have my brick factories. So we do have... Wait a second, that is a one. Where are the other ones? There they are. So there are four brick factories here, so I'm going to have my trade union. Oh, this is close. Let's see, let's move this one here away, over there. Yeah, let's move it here, to that warehouse there. And then we can move this one here over there. Let's get rid of that road there real quick and then we can have the trade union here in the middle and then we can have the item oh where's the item oh 
Oh, it was not on this island here, right? Oh, that's strange. I thought it was all... Ah, it's here. Okay, look at that. It's in Bellrock. So they were actually taking asylum here. Okay, so now I just need to get that item over there. Ready for a challenge. For more Justice brick said. production. Very nice. And we've also finished that escort mission here. And I think... Oh yeah, he's got some nice ships here now. Perhaps another cargo ship? Nope. This one's not for sale. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that's that. We do have 36 reinforced concrete now, so it's piling up. The finishing touch? Oh, look at that. The riot is really getting bigger and bigger there. Two police stations working on it should actually solve the problem, I think. Right, that's it for now. We've done quite a bit in this episode and we're just going to wait now for the reinforced concrete. Then we move our productions over here. And once that is done, we can continue with, um, well, yeah, glasses probably. And also, of course, expanding the city here, upgrading more people, making it a bit bigger and then go for the electricity. Stay tuned.